I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and welcome to the drive home to Hawkesbury, where I believe every home has a story and I love sharing those stories on real estate in the Hawkesbury with you. Here we share the best ways to add value to your property, how to avoid the common mistakes people make when buying and selling property, and how to get the maximum return on your investment with a focus on supporting local business. I live, love Hawkesbury and can't wait to get into today's episode with you, so let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon or good evening depending on what time you're watching this video. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and I'm lucky enough to be joined by Keith Taylor. How are you today? Fantastic, wonderful. Terrific. No, that's really good. Couldn't be better. <laughs> We're on the drive home to Hawkesbury. We took a little drive into the bushland of his gorgeous property, Araluan uh, Wildlife Sanctuary, I would call it that it much, is. very yes, much so. Yes. Yeah. It's been a wildlife sanctuary for the 40 years that I've owned it. Wow. And we've just gone on a little bit of a trek. I've seen everything from convict two post and rail, three post and rail, lyre birds, I've seen osprey eagles, I've seen kangaroos, the black wallabies, um, a little bit shy this morning, but um, just about everything else, scratchings from wombats and koalas and all sorts of things. So definitely a wildlife sanctuary. And I feel very lucky to be on this journey with you this morning. It's been terrific. Tell me a little bit about the, the area and the history of the block that you've got here and what you've done on the, the property. Around here was um, all the river flats throughout the Hawkesbury was used um, to grow pumpkin and maize uh, for the first first settlement yes. at Port Jackson. Okay. Um, they used the river, they came in and out yeah. uh, using the tidal uh, flow of the river, six yeah. hours in, six hours out obviously. And um, the river flats and all through these properties and valleys here is lovely black alluvial soil yeah. and uh, great farm farming area and they could grow their produce, load it and just go out go to uh, uh, the Broken Bay, turn right and then down into the um, into Port Jackson. Yeah, and yeah. Pumpkin of course, great for bread making and so on and so on and maize, uh, one of the best staples. So uh, and that's the history of the area so it's, it's, it's quite fantastic. And then of course they, they brought a road from Sydney all the way to Windsor and Windsor was basically I think there's a house in Macquarie Street that's that you sold recently, uh, convict built, 1826, yes. 1828, yes, something like yeah, that. There's yeah, there's a few of them there we, yeah. we've um, looked yeah. after. So it's a beautiful heritage place and um, there's also some beautiful bushland here and the different types of wood that we've got in the, the trees in and around. Tell me a little bit about well, that. Well, we've got an apple apple tree here, yeah, I think, there's, just here. There's, there's apple, gu yeah. apple gum here, scrub mahogany. Um, there's also... Um, she oak, there's some large she oaks and turpentine. Uh, plus, when you there's, there's two different types of, uh, of mesmate or mountain ash. There's one that grows right down along the edge of the waterways, and uh, that's very, very close to the, uh, the Murray River red gun. And then there's one that grows on the, on the top of these sandstone ridges. Yeah. All beautiful timber, yeah. all absolutely yeah. beautiful timber. The she oak was used, the first convicts used the she oak uh, for furniture. It's a beautiful red, lovely timber. All the rest of it was used for house building and yeah. uh, so on and so on. But yeah. Yeah, no, it's yeah. terrific. And you can probably see from behind us here what a magnificent view that we've been joined by this morning. It's just lovely. We've got some beautiful bushland as you can see, right? We feel like we're at the top of the world. <laughs> some of those movies we could take a yeah. line from a, a movie, couldn't <laughs> we, there or two? <laughs> So uh, yeah, once again, it's it's lovely to get out in amongst the bush and up with the birds this morning with Keith uh, on his beautiful property. Um, he's been a client of ours for a number of years, a very good oh, yeah. client. And yeah. um, you know, how, how do you find the experience in real estate and those sorts of things? I've I've been doing real estate for um, for many many years and going back as uh, as far back as um, uh, the very early 70s when a block of land, believe it or not, at Winston Hills, Gooden Drive, Winston Hills or Carroll and Chisholm Drive was $2,900 and $3,200. Wow. So, yeah. uh, and, and I was saying to Rachel, yeah. back in the mid-70s and yeah. late-70s, a house along the terrace in Windsor sold, they were selling for about 20, 28000 20, yeah. 28, 29000 and a, a nice house in Castle Hill in the mid-70s was 52000 <laughs> So there's the... And why yeah. didn't we buy the street, we're asking yeah, exactly, ourselves a question. <laughs> exactly. So, um, 
Now houses in Windsor, what, millions, million plus, oh, yeah. is it easy? Yeah. We're meeting house price in Sydney at the moment, million and 17. So mm. it's uh, an affordability issue for a lot of people. And we were talking about, sometimes the lead up to the end of the financial year is always a little bit quieter for people because they're you know, sure. worried about the next you know, tick as to what they're gonna do or their accountant's telling them to wait or they might have a trust or super fund that they're looking at changing. Um, over at that particular time of year, so it's always good. But you've got quite a bit of property, Keith, um, that you've collected over the years, and yes, you've done quite yeah. well for yourself and the family. And look, look, it, property is the investment. There's mm. no ifs or buts about yeah. it. Um, everybody needs a, you know, wants to live with a roof over their head. Yeah. You know, I don't know anyone who wants to live in a tree. So, um, <laughs> well, yeah, that's, I got a that's, couple of clients that might debate might, that, but. but, <laughs> but but that's that's the deal. So, it's, it's and, true, and with yeah. a growing population, and uh, it, it's just fantastic. And look, if you can't buy in Sydney, uh, that's got a bit out of your price or whatever. New South Wales, you know, yeah. two hundred kilometre radius of, yeah. the, of the Sydney CBD, you'll find something, and it'll be beautiful and. You know, great investment. Yeah, Fantastic investment. exactly, exactly. No, it's been really good. And uh, how you found the services with the real estate, with what we've done? Is there anything that um, you think people need to think about before they're looking at engaging an agent with well, what they do? Well, well, personally, I think you you just want you want honesty. You want it up front, mm. and and you want to feel like part of part of the the, the, the business as well yeah, I mean yeah. you, if, if you've got a couple of million bucks worth of properties uh, you want some somebody to manage those that is that is really you know understanding your investments yeah. and how important they are and that's why I've stuck with Rachel Goldsworthy there's oh. no two ways about it it's been it's been fabulous and um, yeah, yeah. I always when I ring up I always feel like got friends at the end of the you know <laughs> how you going Keith how's things etc 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 that's great no gobbledygook you know straight down the line and that's that's the most important thing it's your it's your biggest investment let's face it you know yeah. apart from what's the next next is a car I suppose these days but house that's the biggest investment you want somebody to look after you both in sales and uh, and in the purchase and just say it as it is right down the line and that's what I get from Rachel, mm. real estate. There's no two ways about it. Yeah, it's no. fabulous. Thanks for that, Keith. And um, I, I really appreciate the opportunity to have those sort of, you know, friendships with people and our clients because it is. It's about a journey with our people, with what they're doing, with the whether it's one property or multi millions of, of dollars worth of property. It doesn't matter to us at the end of the day. You're all family. You're all part of the RGR clan. Be and um, we're happy to help so but I was just really pleased to to bring you out and have a look at this beautiful property Araluan it's just amazing I mean I'm just going to show you one more time before we finish up we're at the top of the lookout and looking out over hundreds of acres here and it's just gorgeous so I hope everybody's having a great day today um, and we will catch up with everybody on the next episode. If anybody wants to have a look at a wildlife sanctuary, this is certainly at the top of my list, I think. It's a uh, wonderful place. Yeah, yeah. terrific yeah. place. And um, the Hawkesbury has got some beautiful places, as we've always seen. And I'm lucky enough to be out here today. So thank you very much, Keith. I really appreciate your time on the my line. My pleasure. And Absolute we'll catch pleasure. up with everybody on the next live video. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you so much for taking time out listening to today's episode. If you have any questions on the process of buying, selling, leasing or strata management, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes and I'd really appreciate it if you could spread the word by liking and sharing this episode with your family and friends. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and I look forward to catching up with you on the next episode of the Drive Home to Hawkesbury.